example of the most common and that is Munizia expansa, which is present in the small intestine and the gravid proglottids are voided in the feces. These are proglottids appear like a boiled rice particles. Eventually, these proglottids disintegrate and the eggs are released and these eggs are consumed by oribatid mites. Now, oribatid mites are present in every type of soil. You can collect the soil sample from your backyard and you will find one or the other species of oribatid mite in the sample. Of course, all the species do not act as intermediate hosts, but uh, about 28 different species, uh, they act as intermediate hosts for Munizia and other tapeworms. That is how oribatid mites act as intermediate hosts, where in the infective stages develop and uh, sheep and goat acquire infection by consuming these oribatid mites. Now, these oribatid mites have a typical tendency. During early part of the day, that is early in the morning or late in the evening, these mites, they migrate on the grass blades because there are dew drops. And you will appreciate, you will realize that these are the timings when the animals are usually let loose for grazing. And that is how they readily become infected with uh, the oribatid mites containing infective stages of monesia and other tapeworms.